Okay, in this screencast, I'm going to show you how to sync your uh, grades that you've uh, corrected in Schoology into PowerSchool with a click of the button. Okay, so let's start off by choosing a course. I'm going to choose my algebra class again and show you that now I, I set my class up as you can see in daily folders and let's just choose one of the daily folders. Let's just choose April 21st. Okay. And you can see that in this particular folder I had looks like one, two, three, four different tasks for them to complete during the day, but only three of them, this one, this one, and this one, uh, were available to be graded. This one uses pages. As you can see, this little icon here means pages. Pages is not a gradable assignment, and indeed it was just simply an answer key that I posted. And the reason I posted the answer key on uh, pages is because I didn't want it to show up as a an assignment for them to complete, right? But these three were. Now, once I, let me just go ahead and uh, click on this one here. And this was a Dropbox, as you can see. And here was my assignment that I created, just simplifying expressions. They had to watch this particular video, and then they actually had some problems that were embedded in the video, and they submitted it on a Google Doc in the school, in the Dropbox for the lesson, which is right up here. Now, you can see that I, I can see which kids actually uh, did the assignment by just going up here. I can see who. Uh, did them on time, who was late, which ones were graded, and who exactly did not submit for whatever reason it might have been. Okay. Now, once I went ahead and graded them, I'm able to actually sync them. Let me just go back here. Once they've been graded, again, let me just go ahead and do this one. Oh, this is a slightly different one, but it's the same idea. Once they've been graded, you can see that I have all these numbers next to their name. And then PowerSchool on the left-hand side, I would click on that. Now this one's called Ferrante Math Introduction to Radical Expressions. Right? And then what I would do, once I've, I've done that, it's going to take me to a page where I'm going to see two tabs. One that says Sync Grades and one that says Configuration. Now. If I've set this up correctly, and I'm going to backtrack here for just a, in, a, in a second, but if I set this up correctly where it says sync grades, I should be able to scroll until I find that particular assignment. Okay. And you can see that actually I have quite a few assignments that I have synced and that I haven't synced them yet because it's still, they still had due dates coming up. But I can actually see where um, that particular assignment is. Once I actually do that, I will be able to sync it simply by moving off to the right hand side of the page and I just hit the sync button. Okay. Let me see if I can find that particular assignment. I think it was one of these up here. It's important to have this nomenclature so I can actually find the assignment. Anyway, what I would do is I would just hit the sync button and then this is what's going to happen. It'll just continue to sync. Now, the way you set up the assignment and this will automatically appear in your gradebook in PowerSchool. Exactly the way you set it up with name, the number of points, the date, who completed it, who did not. Okay, It's really a really handy uh, syncing feature. And you can see that was already this little check mark shows up that means that all the grades were like moved over now in the um, power school now that was for sync grades now before i did that though at the very beginning of the year i have to set up what's called a configuration now let me show you what, the way i do mine these are all categories i use on a consistent basis i always have assignments i have a number of discussions. Clearly I have two finals right throughout the year. I use something called IXL, projects, uh, warm-ups, quizzes, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And what I did was I customized it by moving all of those over to one 
category only in power school now you can create as many categories as you want in schoology but there are only four preset categories in power school i found that a bit of a problem myself so what i did was i just automatically synced or configured each of my categories in schoology to end up as what's called a test in power school because i named them differently I'm, i was able to the students are able to see which ones are quizzes which ones are assignments which ones are discussions but it all just adds up as total points and i just went ahead and saved those changes you have to do this configuration first before you can actually do these sync grades okay so i would suggest again that you go to configuration configure how you want your schoology categories to show up in your power school once you've done that then go ahead and uh, just start syncing your grades um, I, I use this feature every single day so my grades are updated every day as soon as the assignments have been graded and it's been uh, really a tremendous time saver for me okay hope that was helpful